Hey guys, Anthony back with 180 Degree Ministries, just going over some more scripture. Today I wanted to do John chapter 21 verses 15 through 17, and this is where Jesus says, Peter, if you love me, then feed my sheep. He goes, Peter, do you love me? Yes, of course, Lord, I love you. Then feed my sheep. He says, Peter, do you love me? Yeah, Lord, of course, I love you. Then feed my sheep. And this is, this is for us to today. We need to feed God's sheep. God tells Peter to feed his sheep in, in, in the... The cycle goes on and on because we're God's disciples. We're in his we're in his path and he's he's telling us to go feed his sheep. He says, Go out into the world, make disciples, heal the sick, go feed his sheep. He tells Peter specifically to feed his sheep so we can look at this today and say that God is telling us to do the same thing. And how do we feed his sheep? By feeding him by giving him the everlasting water that Christ said that will never thirst and never go hungry, by nourishing their soul and their spiritual uh, their spiritual body and element uh, through Christ for spiritual food and spiritual uh, giving through the, the uh, bread of life. That's what Christ is. And, and healing the sick by letting people know their value, to let them know that they're loved, by really showing people the true value and the true love that Jesus has uh, for them. And just letting the Savior work through you and to just feed His people. So go out there, family, work. Your work is your mission field. Grocery stores, it doesn't matter what it is. Gas station, buying something for somebody in need, paying for somebody's groceries, it doesn't matter. Feed a sheep, feed a sheep. Letting love, God is love. We know that by the Bible. The Bible physically says that God is love. We know that Jesus' actions is love. Everything he does is love. So by doing so and letting the kingdom shine through you and loving people and showing them what Christ really is, is showing their value and that's feeding their sheep. So we can tie in this parable of what Christ is saying to Peter to go feed the sheep that he's also telling us to go feed his sheep as well. He's not specifically talking to Peter here. He's talking to us too because the word is alive and the word speaks to those who have the same spirit, the Holy Spirit that God gave us. So go out there and feed his sheep no matter what it is. Just let the spirit shine through you. Let Christ ruin your life and he will take control. It, break those chains of fear. Break those chains of anxiety of being being scared. There are still times obviously where you go out. I go out and I get nervous. But as soon as I do it, as soon as I take that leap of faith, God breaks it and it's over. So take that leap of faith. Get out there and just tell people their value. Even if it's just, hey, God loves you. God loves you. People need to know that God loves them. I, for the longest time, nobody really came up to me. There was a couple times where it was a long, 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 long time ago that somebody came up to me and told me that God loved me. So I think it's very important and I think people need to know. And uh, trust me, that sits on them. Even though it happened to me years and years and years and years and years ago, over 15, 16 years ago, that's, I still remember that day so clearly. So it really does something. It really impacts. So Go feed a sheep, guys.